internet, Captain Erica here, coming at you with a, a little show and tell video. Um, I am borrowing a Yakut knife and a knife pass around on bushcraftusa.com. So this is the blade, and um, it's kind of an, uh, an interesting knife in general. Um, this is a traditional blade for the Yakutian people in northern Siberia. So um, it's flat on one side and convex on the other. I want to show you some close-ups of this knife. Um, before we get started, and then I'll make a bow drill with it in the woods and you'll see all that. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and look closer at this knife. Okay, so here is the knife in the sheath. It's a nice, simple leather dangler sheath. Um, the maker for this particular Yakut knife is Menchev Knives. You can see his mark there on the blade. It's rubbed off a little bit, um, but I'll link his Instagram um, below. Uh, so that you guys can check out his work, but this is a handmade knife and um, It's a very traditional Yakut knife. There's not a ton of information uh, online about Yakut knives that I could find But there was some and I'll link some of that below for you guys um, But the cool part about this blade is that it's convex on this side and It's flat on this side and then it has a hollow ground out area here Um so very kind of intriguing blade shape to me. It was nothing I had ever tried before and that's why I wanted to do the pass around. So the hollow part uh, is supposed to go through things easier. So if you're skinning an animal or butchering an animal, it's supposed to allow the knife to go through um, that much easier. Um, and then depending on the task that you're kind of doing with this knife, they range in blade size from four to seven inches. Um, this one, I'll show you. So you can see here that this blade is definitely um, right in the middle of that. I've got, it's about just over five and a half inches long and then the handle itself is also just about five inches. So um, it's not a small blade. It's not huge, but it's definitely um, on the bigger end. And the handle is, it's a stick tang, so it's a really light um, knife. And it's made out of this uh, birch burl. Um, traditionally, they're made out of birch or birch burl. And then the handle is an egg shape. So you can see that kind of egg oval shape at the end. And it's really comfortable in your hand. Uh, nice, it's simple. And so the um, knives were originally designed like this so that you could also use them with uh, big padded gloves on because it gets really cold in Siberia, like negative 50 degrees uh, Celsius, which is crazy, crazy cold. So the knives that the people use have to kind of be a, real flexible with the temperatures and things. So I don't know the type of steel that this particular knife is. You could certainly reach out to Menchez Knives if you wanted. Okay, so this knife is definitely really interesting. I wish I could uh, do like skin an animal or butcher an animal <laughs> to show you uh, it in action, but I can't do that. So this is also a knife used in a lot of woodworking crafts. So I will make a bow drill with this to kind of show you what it in action, um, kind of what it's like, um, and also to practice my bow drill skills. So via magic video teleportation, let's just go to the woods. See you there. <laughs> some curly curls. Cool. So I cut an end of the cottonwood, uh, an end piece off of a, a round log for my bearing block. I'll just like cut a little divot in it and hold it in my hand. And then um, this is hopefully enough for a hearth board. Uh, it's just a, it just was a perfect size already that I found. This is a piece of actually of madrone. It's a curved piece of madrone that I've had forever. I just love it. Um, I picked it up years ago because I thought it was pretty. And so for my spindle, I've got a couple of like weird pieces here that I'm going to try to like baton and then carve into like a spindle. This is also cottonwood. Oh, and then I'm not making natural cordage. I'm just going to use bank line 
um, as I'm still kind of a noob at all of this. Hey, Did you find there. a stick? <laughs> careful, there's quite a hill there for you. Yep, watch him. Careful, bud. How are you gonna? You gotta go real slow. You're gonna fall down. He's brave. Hold my hand. Good, good idea. <laughs> here, this is all muddy right here. I'm gonna hop you across, okay? Hop, hop across. <laughs> and there there's the go. boys. Whoa. I'm gonna make a fire, buddy. Whoa. So one thing is because it's only curved on the knife is only curved on one side, it like when I baton through things it kinda like cuts like this and slowly like goes away from the straight line that I kinda want. So that's interesting. Starting to look round. That's a good sign. This wood's real soft, but this knife also is cuts very slicey. Okay, cool. Let me let me get you guys in a little closer. Doing real good. So far, spindle thingy's doing okay. Hopefully I don't spindle my way right through it. This wood's soft.
Oh jeez. That little bearing block is doing me any favor since it's burning too. Yesterday, I'm tired. <sighs> so you can see here, it was pointy, and now it's not, and it's creating more resistance. Ugh, this hole's almost used up. I mean, I really want this. Uh, so I'm gonna carve the spindle thing pointy again at the top. So, I have not, obviously, made a fire yet. Um, I made three different attempts today at making a Bodro fire. I also had to make several holes in my bearing block because it's a little bit too soft, obviously, since it's cottonwood. Very happy with my uh, bow. <laughs> um, and my spindle wasn't too bad. Uh, I think, like, I got some a lot of this type of dust, so I think I'm really close, uh, but I've just been sick this week and then I mowed the lawn yesterday and I'm out of shape, so I think I'm just really tired um, today. So I think what I'll do is take this project to the backyard later this week when I'm uh, feeling a little bit better. Um, I would just keep going and just like push through, uh, but I really want to enjoy the woods. <laughs> because uh, I've been at it like making the kit and everything and stuff for a couple hours at least now and the boys are over there playing in the creek with the rocks and stuff and I want to enjoy that too. So anyway, that's kind of a bummer and I had all this fire like stuff prepped, but that's okay. I am really good at making a fire with a ferro rod, thank goodness. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Those two over there climbing the hills and playing with the rocks. Okay, and welcome to the back porch. <laughs> I'm really hoping I can get this uh, bow drill going. Um, it's pouring down rain out. Luckily, I have a slightly covered patio area, um, but the geese are flying around too. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just keep doing what we were doing. So I've got my stuff here, I've got my little fire pit, I have my tinder bundle. Okay. Wow. Um, I was hoping to have a successful fire, <laughs> um, but I just don't have quite the energy for it.
like I'm like feeling good that I like am trying but I'm also like oh my gosh like frustrated too so anyway let's go ahead I'm gonna make a fire the easy way <laughs> and then um, make some hot chocolate and I want to talk a little bit more about this knife before I end the video so stick with me <laughs> Okay, I'm making some uh, warm almond milk for my hot chocolate. It was going to be like a victory hot chocolate to celebrate my new cup, <laughs> um, but it's going to be more of a comforting hot chocolate uh, since I'm kind of bummed I didn't succeed at my fire uh, via bow drill, but that's okay. I think this uh, knife is really neat. Um, it was an interesting to try out a, a different knife from a different culture. I really... I don't think this would be like the knife for me, but it did cut through wood really well because of the asymmetry of the blade. Batoning is crooked, <laughs> but you know, like you shouldn't be batoning with a knife or whatever. I do it all the time. Um, and I, it's a little bit big for me. Personally, I like a little bit shorter of a knife, but I get the size in a way, especially in the handle, because if you're wearing big gloves, uh, obviously you're gonna need a pretty decent sized handle and everything. So. Uh, definitely a very cool blade. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know this is kind of like a, fr it was a frustrating video for me to make uh, in a way, but I think it, there was a lot of learning that happened. And of course, playing with the Yakut knife was really cool. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the rain and drink my hot chocolate now. Uh, I'll just see you guys next time. Peace.